Hi all and welcome back to my channel, that's me again, your NSC in the place to be. Yeah, today um, I'm going to show you how you can repair, we can say, uh, memory RAM from your computer. Um, and um, yeah, how you can check uh, what problem your memory RAM could have. I had last time uh, this memory on a computer and uh, the computer was uh, just strange, it was running strange, I had some... Yeah, issues and uh, some freezes <laughs> and I, I didn't know what's happened. I, I just um, knew that the motherboard was okay and the CPU was okay too. So I just changed it, uh, the, we can say memories and with other memories this was working. But with this one here, this guy has just made me problems. Um, I'm going to just show you right now how you can look um, we can say one of the most important thing that you need to know are we can say the small SMDs here. Um, the small transistors and all the rest here you need to take care because a lot of people when they just let fall down the memory or when they get together sometimes and you just go bad with them um, you will just break this stuff here. Okay, it's, This is really so small. I'm going to try to show you this here over the um, yeah, so here you can see, um, wait, I need something to show you guys, wait, 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 um, wow, I think I'm going to take this one, yeah, okay, so here, um, yeah, I need a, I need a, a lot zoom right now, just a second guys, because this will be difficult for the camera, but yeah, it's okay right now. So let me just zoom. I don't know if it's possible to zoom because um, over the YouTube application sometimes this is not working great. Here you go. You see this one? This one was just broken on the half side. This was um, nearly falling down. <laughs> you see? And you got a lot of them. But this one here was just half, we can say half broken. On the other side, I have found one more. I don't know if it. Yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah. So wait. On the other side, this small transistor SMD, this small part here, was also broken. It was just on the half to the left side. I was lucky that I have just found it. And um, I had one more which I was not able to found or to find. <laughs> and this one is so small, uh, I just took it out from another memory because the memories, uh, this is here a uh, memory, like you can see, DDR3. And the most DDR3 memories are all the same, we can say, okay? So the SMD, transistors and all the shit here is all nearly, we can say, the same. Um, now, yeah, okay, I was able to zoom right now. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm, I need to um, I need to search which one it was because yeah, here I found it already. Okay, so you can see that this one here is not that great as this ones here. Okay, they are really beautiful, soldered and all the rest. You can see that. You can see this was just a machine. Okay. Uh, this one here is, we can say, a little bit, yeah, not that beautiful. So I have soldered this one here because they are so small and it's really hard to get a soldering iron here. And then, if you believe me or not, this one here, this small guy here, I have also, we can say, soldered. But you can see that on the solder. See that? On the soldering stuff you can see I have soldered with this guy new. The second and the third one was just the same but this one here I have just soldered with and maybe I'm gonna solder one for you again because I had to take this out here from another one. <laughs> so wait because I'm really shaking a lot. So let me just focus on my time. Let's see. Yeah okay we can let it like that. So here you can see guys this one here very difficult um now i'm going to show you 
that we can say nearly the most DDR3 um, ROMs are all the same. So uh, let me just close my pen here. Or oh, whatever it calls in English. Sorry, guys. So now uh, let's move on to. Uh, yeah, this is also DDR3, like you can see, on 1333 megahertz. So um, now I'm gonna just put them together. I need just to take care because here you see this stuff and this, so I need to turn it around. All right. Now I'm gonna show you that you guys really see and believe me that they are nearly all the same. Also the parts and, and the transistors and the SMDs and whatever it calls in English, <laughs> this is all the same. Sometimes not the chips, okay? The chips, they are sometimes from Elpida, sometimes from Crucial, sometimes from Kingston, of course. Um, but the rest on the PCB, on the platine, the rest is all nearly the same. So wait, we're gonna begin here down on the right side. Wait, I hope it will focus. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay. Now you can see that really great. We got here all the same guys. You see, all here is the same. Oh, I need to be really, really patient because so here, look at this one. You got down the same one. Then it comes to down. You have two also. You got a small brown one, brown one black black this all is all the same guys if you believe me or not and i just um yeah you can see that <laughs> i just have took that from this memory here you see that so here one is missing and i just put this one over here okay <laughs> because i love this kingston of course yeah this are uh, ddr3 1600 megahertz Okay, this was an older one, but now I just want to repair this one too. So that's why I have, yeah, just decide um, to, we can say now, um, repair this one again, because this one is also good. And I have found, we can say, an older uh, memory, which I will be able to take the, the SMD out. And I'm going to solder, solder it back here on this one. You can see for this video right now, I got really, I have just work also on my car, so sorry guys, but I got big fingernails right now, and that's great for this work. So if you got bigger fingernails, <laughs> this will help you to solder with this small stuff. So here, I got a very small one. I got here one with 512 megabytes. Uh, this is a very slow one with, um, we can say, I think it has, 266 megahertz i'm not sure but uh should be like that or maybe just 400 i'm not sure i need to i need to look because pc2 um 4200 is about i think maybe it's uh, 666 yeah i'm not sure but this doesn't matter um the thing is what is for me interesting i'm gonna just take now the small mini mini smd which is one of this here. I'm gonna just take out now, just with you together, guys. Uh, let me see this side here. Yeah, you can find them all over here. These are all the same stuff. Okay, you can believe me, guys. So here, let's check it out. Let's just compare. We need the other side. Wait, here we go. So, hehe. <laughs> and then, yeah. I'm gonna take this small brown one here. See that? This are all the same. And it doesn't matter if you solder it it's so or on the other side, this doesn't matter guys. So let me just check this one here under there. Yeah. This are all the same. God thanks. Uh, and you can do it just like me. You can do it like that. Um, I have also repaired a CPU. Um, it was also a broken CPU. I have it here. This one here. Um, they shipped it me from Hong Kong or from China. I don't know. I can't remember. 
I have to just buy them. Uh, these are great Xeons from Socket 775. And look at this here. This guy here was just broken. It was broken, it was not more there. So I took an Intel Pentium or Celeron, <laughs> a really, really bad, slow guy. I just took one very old CPU and I just took the same out from the older CPU and I just soldered it here inside. And if you believe me not or not, guys, this one here is working. I'm going to show you this on the next video because I just wanted also to show you how you can, we can say, get a Intel Xeon uh, CPU socket 771 on the socket 775. But this I'm going to show you later. Here, remember this, guys. We got here number 200, we got here the sticker, and we got here this two solder it um, SMDs by me and a C in the place to be. Okay, now I'm going to put it back. Um, let's go over here. I will try um, to do that with you together, guys. Um, this is my work all the day. <laughs> so, wait. Prepare it, my soldering iron, and I hope that you guys are gonna be able to see that. For first, I'm gonna take out this one here. So let me zoom again. Let me search which one I wanna take. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take this one. This are not the right one, and. This is also the same one, yeah. I'm gonna take this from here above. Oh, sorry, you was not able to see something. So these guys here are all the same. And let me turn to the other side. So, yeah, just focus it right. You can also take one from here. These are all the same guys. Okay, now I'm gonna now just put it down. Let me see if this will be great for you guys because this will be very bad to record. So, wait. I'm here. Maybe I'm gonna do that here. Just for you guys. I'm going to hold this in my hand. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm crazy, guys. Wait, I need to see. I'm going to take this guy out here. I need this one here. Okay, now you need flux. Check this out. A syringe with flux. I'm going to... Well, I'm shaking so much. Sorry, guys, but I'm holding that all in my hand. Just that you can see it better. And I'm doing, I'm gonna put here some flux over there. So, and now, so wait. Mm, nearly. Let it cool down and wait. Here we go. With my fingers. So, I don't know if you can see that. Where is the camera? Here it is. Oh my god, look. So small. <laughs> I have just talked it out with my own fingers because this will stay on here. You will need it to quick and fast touch the soldering iron. And here is the bad guy. <laughs> So now, I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, it's really small. Um, I'm gonna put this guy over here. Okay, now, let me, I need to put something here, otherwise I'm gonna forget it. Or this will, yeah, run away. So, just that I know where it is, here it is. Okay, now, <clears throat> so, I don't know where I am, here I am. So, 
Okay, I don't like to solder like that. I need to turn it around for me. So, maybe like that. Where is it? Here is it. Yeah, I think I would be able to solder it like that. Okay, guys, now you can see here we got still a bit flux, but you clean. You can clean this all later away. This is no problem. I'm going to try to focus this again for you guys. Yep. Then I'm going to do here again some flux. I want to just clean this away here. Yes, looks good. And now I'm going to take the syringe. Uh, here it is. Okay, I'm going to take it. Uh, wait, that you can see something. And then I'm going to, yeah, get with the flux, because this SMD is so light. <laughs> I'm going to take with the flux, I'm going to take the SMD. You see, I got it here. It's just over here. Wait, so. Oop. I hope you can see that. Look, so small. Wait, wait, wait. Ugh. It's hard for me, guys. I'm sorry, but today I don't got the the right equipment because this was just a video that I thought I'm gonna do this somewhere, but not today. So I need to search. Need to search this small guy. Here we go. I got him already. This is the this is the the perfect one. Exactly the same one. I'm just adjusting this bad guy. Just adjusting it. And now I'm gonna hold it <laughs> with my fingernail, if you believe me or not. So now I need to turn it around. And I don't know how I will do that because um here. I'm gonna uh, how I will do that my god this is so hard now wait maybe like that I'm gonna here with my hand that you will not be able to see something so then I need to go over here guys here I am Okay, so maybe like that, here. So just give me a second guys, because I need really to check how, I gonna, how I'm going to do that. So now I'm going to press it slowly down. Don't press too hard because you can break this small guy. So I think I got the right position. Yeah. Okay. Let's check this out. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, I got it. So oh, here with this. So here with this. Was my fault because I was not holding it right with my fingernail. But again. Yeah. He is good. Look. You need to be fast guys because when you hold it too long, you will burn. So let me get the syringe back here again. So here's back in the place. So You need to adjust it really great, guys. 
otherwise you will not um, get the contacts, the right contacts, and it will not be possible to solder. I will just do this all here for purpose for you guys, that you guys can see how crazy I am. I got him. I got him on the place. Yeah. That's how we do. Scooby dooby doo. <laughs> now I'm going to give him here a little bit more flux. So you just solder it. We can say first on the left side or on the right side. This is up to you guys. You need a lot of practice here and a lot of soldering skills. But I'm soldering. It's a long, long time. Now, I want to just take a little bit of soldering iron or how it's called, soldering uh, wire. Yeah, soldering wire. Let me focus. I'm going to just take a little bit, little, 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 little bit here. Wait. Yes, this is enough. And now, if you hold screwed on the left side, because I was soldering on the left side, if he is good soldered, he will stay there. Perfect. Yeah, good guy. I'm gonna turn it to the other side because I want to do the other side also really perfectly. I'm very happy. Very, very, very happy. <laughs> and now we have repaired it also. Here, we're gonna zoom back. Then, just take some alcohol and get drunk. <laughs> no, just kidding, guys. Here. And then, let's clean it. I don't need the soldering station anymore. So here we go. Just a little bit. Isopropanolski. <laughs> Isopropanol. <laughs> okay, guys. So. Don't drink it. You're going to die. Now let's clean this away. Nice work. Great energy, great! Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. I'm a crazy guy, guys. So, this is really solder it, okay? This is real skills, guys. Not just glue with super glue or second glue. <laughs> this is really solder it. Otherwise, this will get off now. If you don't solder it right, you're gonna burn this uh, place. This will be a back burned place. And you will never more be able to get this inside just so great like it is right now. Okay, so you need a lot of skills, so please don't try it at home. If you have any problems with your memory, you first check the SMDs if all is great, if you find something strange, and then you can go on and this will save you. Well, here we go. I'm going to try to zoom now. Look at this. 
it's just shaking too much but look so nice okay you can see this is so nice so here we go and this will work without problems guys if you believe or not <laughs> okay so um yeah this was all now for me how to repair um a memory ram you can do this with ddr1 ddr2 ddr3 ddr4 with all the memories so if you have found a memory where is something broken or just maybe on the half just keep it guys it's better of course when you have the original one and then you just need to solder it back guys you see here now this guy is we can say ready to work and now i have now saved my old memory which i have use this part <laughs> to repair this from Kingston guys and now they are boot working again and the small guy here I'm gonna keep it for me maybe one day I'm gonna need again a, a, a SMD or a transistor or whatever and here this will be just we can say yeah my small memory to take some parts that I need okay guys I hope the video was uh, great for you guys and now I'm yeah over for my next video for today and yeah I hope you like it guys here again my work without problem I was just I just wanted to do that live with you together with my own fingernails <laughs> and uh, yeah this just skills needed okay and here look I have just soldered this one and I think uh, it was the other one on the side was also broken. Here you can see that this one I have also replaced it. So, and here you can see that not that be beautiful, but the most important is that it gets contact, guys, real contact. The rest doesn't matter. Okay, that was all for me. And see in the place to be. See us soon on my next videos. Stay tuned for more and subscribe like thumbs up and have a nice time guys see ya bye bye